It's a great thing that there's a lot of a lot of Ionic 6s here. You can see the heat, the hype around this Ionic 6 is. Welcome to Cars in Korea. I introduce newly released Genesis Hyundai and Kia Cars. And I'm here today at Bexco, one of the largest exhibition center here in Korea. I'll be showing you all of newly released Genesis Hyundai and Gia cars. All of them are here today. So bear with me here in Korea. We still require masks indoors so I'll be having this on for the entire event today unfortunately. I'm getting goosebumps here. Ionic 6 they are here. There's Ionic 6 right here behind me in real physical one pardon me i should not say that this is gray but the way the reflection is striking off i see some blue off of it i actually want to get a precise name for this car the designer has said that when it comes to the profile of the car the wheels are actually the first thing that people look towards so the wheels matter a lot and hence the big size wheels and tires on this car this is the 20 inch wheel probably with the 245 40 20 if i'm not wrong Yes, it is. So this is the biggest wheel that you can get on a Ionic 6. Probably a lot of you guys have uh, worried about it, but it looks great. Right here is the ducktail. Here is the six buttons. It, it even has the pixels. And this is the boot button, lock button as well. Just look at that. Look at that. Wow. Look at the tail light lighting up that stretches out all the way from here to here. And there's not the pixel lights on the top. It only reflects and shines off. Just look, look at this brake light. Oh my God. This already is uniquely Ionic and uniquely Hyundai already. With that being said, I want to show you these um in super close. So this is what it looks like when it lights up. And also, this is the top portion. So these pixels themselves do not light up, but it kind of gives that reflective look to it. But just, this truly looks amazing. So these um, pixels right here, they do not light up, but this is the reflector and this is the reverse light. And once again, this is the reverse cam, the button for the trunk. So close button, the lock. A lot of people are worried by the fact that, you know, it having the double spoiler here, but it actually has the function to it as well. Because, I mean, somewhere on the behind of the Ionic 6 has to be a camera, right? So Hyundai has put the camera right up here for the reverse cam to work. It actually has to be angled. It solves that problem already by just being there. A great position for the camera as well as the button. And also this is the loaded option so the trunk is um, automated but the thing is there are cars without such option this is the where the trunk door handle will be this is how high it gets when the trunks are open so it's, this is quite high automated trunk the tailgate so i hope the hyundai did the job with uh under the rainy condition when the door trunk lid is open probably the raindrops will fade away to the sides let's check it out one more time so the trunk lid goes out the water drops right here hopefully nothing goes inside the trunk but we'll see that and test that out in the real world when the test driver gets out i love the door opening up and closing probably that's one of the best way to come up with such design like that the trunk compartment this is not bad for a sedan this is not bad at all a crazy amount of space and also you can pull the seat from the trunk like so in order to fold the second row seat you actually have to go around like so and then we now have second row seats folded and it's through so we can see a little more clear as to how spacious it is in the trunk just look at this detail that Hyundai is going through now. This uh, lighting in the trunk compartment like so. The sound absorbents are everywhere. It's wrapped around completely in the trunk compartment. Wow, I can only imagine how quiet this car will be when it comes to when it's actually put on the road. The rear diffuser, the vertically, it comes down like so. Design language from the prophecy has been carried over a lot. I'm looking at the profile myself. This is not not a small size car by any means this actually is has a gigantic wheelbase as well it has the flush door here is the charging port it has the good dc combo type so we can see it's low on the battery so it's very direct and intuitive you can understand it a single glance 
and you see these little things they add up together they drop a figure by figure on the cd the coefficient of drag ionic 6 came up with amazing amazing result which is 0.21 if that number doesn't surprise you, let me give you some of the other numbers from the cars, such as EV6 has 0.24, Tesla Model 3 has 0.23, even Porsche Taycan has 0.22. So way to go, Ionic 6. The Ionic 6 is not made from a wind tunnel. It actually is being made from the bottom up, starting with the design, because Hyundai knew that the streamliner works, the design works. They they did not need to put this in a wind tunnel but they only did the last 10 percent to get that number right it's the work of the design alone that made all this possible that is what's truly truly amazing about this ionic 6 and just to be fair some other numbers and cars that ionic 6 failed to defeat mercedes-benz eqs that has the 0 0.20 cd you be the judge when it comes to the coefficient of drag that is truly an amazing and remarkable number if you are an av owner ev driver you know that number matters a lot especially to the driving range a remarkable design as you can see a pebble shaped a lot of design is inspired straight from the nature and that being said hyundai also uses upcycled and recycled material in and out right here let me go over this this is the side skirt and all ioni 6 come in two-tone side skirts from the used tires they draw this on tarmac and they make the material to paint the side skirts and such front of the ionic 6 i'm looking at the hood right now but unlike ionic 5 it does not come with the clamshell type so it has the good old um, parting line right here bonnet sits on top of the fender it has the half t-shaped fender flares as well one more thing is that i actually do like the fact that it does not have the plastic cladding that is the case with the ionic 5 a lot of people actually favored ev6 over that just because of that they did not want to see the black cladding that's not the case with the ionic 6 over here a lot of people pointed out about this black bend why it is there and the reason for that and i'm looking at the car up close and i see the reason why so there has to be cameras and sensors because of the hda and a lot of high tech put behind this car if you're not familiar with such from the predecessor ionic 5 it actually has all that into the black sector between the headlight that's why you don't see it on ionic 5 but that is not the case with the ionic 6 hyundai had to come up with an idea of hiding such they did so with this black band regardless of the exterior color you get there is the black band this is the hyundai logo it's got much thinner this would be the latest hyundai logo it doesn't look any different or design wise it hasn't changed much but i think it sits really flush it also would help with the coefficient of drag as well i'm not joking like little tiny things like these they added everything all up together and they came up with such a number well that being said let me cover that as well that is the air curtain and instead usually the air curtain was sitting like right here that was connected all the way to the front of the tires right so it was just going in in like so getting all bounced back from the tires so it didn't help all that much the idea hyundai has come up with is utilize the high pressure zone here air to be sucked out so the vortex created around the front of the wheel is actually thrown back and it's pushed back right here further enhancing the coefficient of drag one more thing do you notice uh, something that is different? Maybe something that we haven't seen before? Hyundai calls it the gap closer. Front of the wheel, it only does the vertical movement, right? Up and down. There is uh, this dead space foregone. Hyundai also covered this portion up to utilize and decrease the drag created here. And actually, once again, it's practical. It's not just for the looks. It actually works. This is active air flap. And the different thing or special thing about this air flap is usually it's opened inwards so they're trying to hide that there is a flap not many people even know that there is an active flap that opens and closes accordingly but instead on ionic 6 it actually opens upward now when it's opened so it actually adds on to one of the designs as well when it's open it's saying out loud hey i'm cooling my batteries down i need the air now it kind of makes the uh, car look aggressive here is also the sensors plus it lights up 
indicating how much is being charged or how much the battery is there so you don't need to come all the way check out the driver's seat to see how much has been charged or open up you know smartphone to see that but no you can see and get an idea from the glance as well over here look at this headlight so a lot of people have been a little bit worried about the design of the headlights in general but it's positioned precisely three degrees inwards left and right so it doesn't make the car look all that unhappy or too aggressive probably that sweet spot that Hyundai came up with for North American market this portion could be amber light there could be a reflector here probably that will be the model for the North American market I mean this color the way it reflects off is truly truly beautiful I love it I love it and let's go inside the driver's seat of Ionic 6. Oh my god, oh my god. There is nothing, nothing on the door. Let me hop in first. So I can immediately see there's some 12.3 inch monitor left and right. I get two of them. And unlike Ionic 5 where it had the white bezel around, it now has the black bezel. So the spacing between these two may look uh, more obvious compared to Ionic 5. I pointed this out on Ionic 5 as well, but not so. But because look at this, I'm pointing my camera straight and that portion is actually covered by a portion of the steering wheel as well. So even if there is some Something. even if there is something being displayed here it actually is in your way so you can't really see much so Hyundai saving up some costs here having dual screens left and right unlike EV6 Kia EV6 it's not concave but it has straight line just like Ionic 5 so probably that is something that is an Ionic brand is pursuing so that is the digital side mirror right here display also right here as well brilliant job because just look at the way it hugs around. The display is not just popped out right here, unlike Ionic 5. A lot of people actually did point that out. People don't actually choose the digital side mirror. In some countries, it's still illegal. So when you don't have a digital side mirror, you can still have that as a blank. It's not gonna bother you all that much. It could be that they will get rid of the top portion here. It's completely free from blocking the, your view. It's not the exact same thing from the Ionic 5, but it definitely has the Ionic Sen 2 it i can already see that ionic is stepping up and settling their own brand now with that being said we cannot forget about these four dots for your information this is actually a morse code that stands for letter h of Hyundai. so it has uh, four dots right here ionic 5 this four dots had no feature whatsoever it was just the design but on ionic 6 this actually does light up as well so when you use the voice control voice recognition system this also uh, reacts to it with showing you the different combinations and colors so you know that you are interacting with your car rest of it the drive mode it's not a dial type but rather it's a push type it's push so this is the same thing as the Ionic 5. The rest of the buttons, it's pretty much some self-explanatory. The pedal shifters for your eye pedal as well as changing the region brake. The way it's laid out, it feels exactly same to that of the Ionic 5. The experience within, inside this Ionic 6 is completely different. Of course, it's because it's a sedan. I get great, great sitting position. I really like the fact that it's sitting so much lower because I actually do enjoy driving, having fun with the car being behind the wheel. So that's truly, truly amazing. The car has already been running, I guess. Or if not, it's well, it's a 13 kilometers. With its entire lifespan, it had 9.9 .9 kilometer per kilowatt hour. So mostly it's been sitting still without moving, but just to get a rough idea. So some of the other um, buttons here as well. The telescopic, it's not motorized, it's manual. Not many people care that much. Sometimes I do favor it having a manual because it's much more faster. And of course, that's a brake pedal. And Hyundai has stressed out a lot about the interior lighting and the ambient light there. It has two lightings up and down. And that being said, they have a crazy amount of combination that they come up with. It's not a direct lighting, but it's actually bouncing off the interior right there. There are pixels everywhere. You see? 
it's car it's carved engraved like so so the air vents in some of the materials here again upcycled and recycled oh and they have this drawer type this is definitely the ionic brand now so like the ionic 5 this has the drawer here you can pull in and out fast wireless charging the usb port the cup holders and everything the buttons that were on the windows have moved to the center so there is nothing on the window these are the buttons lock unlock button and uh I'm not seeing the heated and ventilated seats so probably it's somewhere here sitting these are the map nav media the climate and oh right here so you can control this heated seat and ventilated seat even with the heating steering wheel here tap here and this will pop up and this is where you control it just like ionic 5 and center on console has the 2c port type charging and the stunt detail that this one has is just massive and beautiful you can control the passenger seat like so the good old buttons there is the sunroof and it seems like it's uh, fully automated yes it is so i don't see a door handle here so you can open this up and the window is not going to open or are you oh look at this so it comes with sunroof as well all right it comes with the sunroof all right so right here we have the ionic 6 headlights all turned on let me also show you the up close look of it as well so these pixels on top they don't do anything they're just a dummy among all th this definitely is my personal favorite for sure the white looks amazing let's hop in the passenger seat of ionic 6 this one has the black interior it's got oh does it relaxation seat oh yes it does so it comes with the relaxation seat on the passenger as well like so well passenger seat has it no doubt the driver's seat would but right here you can see that there is the tunnel center tunnel is right here with the 12 volt unlike ionic 5's um you know the island type glove box does not move but you can put your briefcase you know the document and stuff here so it's quite practical let me show you the relaxation seat that I'm here already so it goes back like this and uh, this is really great given that it's a sedan I am not getting that kind of uh you know the space for the leg as I did with the Ionic 5 but you see so I still am touching floor with my leg but this is still good enough because you know there's a wide sunroof right here so this is definitely you can take a seat nap in a car it's not no problem I, I, I trust me I can sleep in this car for sure so let's get back up same thing just uh, press this button right here press hold and it brings me back to the original sitting position parking view cam does it give the surround view yes it does so it has a 360 surround view with the bird eye and look at look at that thank you he's looking at it right there super clear wide no problem whatsoever functional so this is not by mistake that this is a pixel obviously because we can see that right here this also is a pixel again this is the drawer type just like the ionic 5s even when you're sitting inside you can also check out the digital side mirror view right here and right there as well so you see the door is fully opened and this entire gap right here you can use that as the handle so just like that you can close the door just holding on to all this area right here well if you put some stuff because it's um cut inside like that so there is a space inside it might roll inside good old storage right here and the cup holder but a lot of things are gone and deleted for the door everything has been moved to the center that streamliner design is more prominent and visible inside the cockpit just look at the line like so stretching out all the way the lighting here just lights up gently like that and these are the buttons for the sunroofs and all this is the book light sunroof once again let me show you show that to you 
and right here you can see it's a double pane dual pressed window i'm curious if that will be the case for the second row seat as well let's go check that out yes it is so we can see how serious hyundai is for ionic 6 brands they have not chipped out on the material the double pane window is even on the second row seat as well a lot of people have pointed out that it would have been really nice if the window has been you know the frameless there is a frame it's not all that evident on the first row seat but when it comes to the second row seat look at this a thick b pillar as well right here so this gets a much thicker and taller on the second row seat and well that is because it's to provide more headroom when it's open with the streamliner design like this it's a little hard to capture such and that's the reason why Hyundai has designed this to be the such way so let's check out the front of the Ionic 6 not much was shown on the YouTube here it is so there's not that many sound absorbent where the reservoirs are for the brake fluid excuse me the coolant and this is the fuse box yes so this is the fuse box for the fuse box so there is the sound absorbance but right here is the front wow look at that someone already has opened up the fuse box so close it like that brake fluid right here the, the strut and is this the strut bar wow so this is actually a strut bar it's not the good old strut bar that we know of but it's actually connected from the tower here over there this is what we can see from hyundai how serious they are with the chassis so i am really really curious about the performance of this car but we know there is the hyundai n branch and brand out of the ionic 6 so wait to see this car in performance blue and just imagine what the car would be like so right here is just a little bit of the, you know the mesh so for you to put in well you can't really even fit in the cables it's too tiny well but it's there so since it says open let's open it up so right there you can reach over and get the air cabin filter so easy thing for the mechanics this battery thing probably was here like that so nice thing there is a dome light for the even for the front nice touch right there with the ionic engraved so this is quite quite deep enough from this alone we can already tell that this is a single motor there is a no motor on the front so with the dual motor this is will not be all that deep probably it will be a somewhere around right here once again they have finished with the rubber right here that will be exactly matched with um, this stamped out uh, bonnet right here and let's get inside the second row of ionic 6 i just opened up the door for the second row seat but just look how massive the leg room is right here this is the reason why hyundai bumped up this line right here and did not make the car into a frameless window so that it is more convenient for the passenger sitting in the second row seat to let themselves in and out of the car which i'll show you right now so you see i just slipped inside no problem just like this one of the best things about these um ev and also cars built from the egmp is definitely that there is no center tunnel in the middle right here you see nothing so you can easily move around in the second row seat like so no problem i get a lot of um plenty of the leg room like so you see and also the ac the vents here c port charging type and that is the reason why i did not see any of them on the seats right here but they are here little tiny you know storage space right here for you to use let's pull out the center arm see what it's like so there is no ski through unfortunately i mean for the second row seat the interior is really really simple probably you can see that and tell that from the seat that i mean already but there is the heated seat right here for the second row seat as well and the window buttons all right another um cut outlet right here it's not probably for the storage but most likely it's for the speakers some of the storage area underneath right here this is also carved out wow so oh wow look at this it fits flawlessly with your armrest like that 
I really feel like I am really resting my arm now, counting the fact that I'm in the second row seat and this is the experience that I get. It comes out like that just so naturally. <laughs> There are a lot of things put behind this Ionic 6. When it comes to the very tiny detail, reducing the every digit of the coefficient of drag, Hyundai Ionic 6 has achieved the number 0.21 coefficient of drag. That is just ridiculous and outrageous. However, Hyundai knew the answer from the get-go because the streamliner design works. It was only a matter of time that Hyundai put life into this car, but here it is. I'm seeing the Ionic 6 in real life for the first time ever. Fingers crossed I get to see Ionic 6 real soon. Excuse me, Ionic 6N real soon. And I can't wait to test drive that car. Don't forget to subscribe and like Car Scene Korea if you did. And I'll see you in the next video. And before I do that, since there's nobody, around this car now so this is the ionic 7 